Welcome back guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today we're going for a test drive on a 1964 Chevy Impala. This one here has the ZZ crate motor, 383. Got aluminum heads. Looks like it's got power brakes, no power steering on this one. And what we're going to do is take it down the road, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting. So go ahead, hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. That does help me out quite a bit. Pick up some merchandise. We got Maple Motors t shirts online here at maplemotors.com, along with financing, shipping, 100 detailed pictures. Just go on over there, check it all out. For now, we're going to get into detail looking for flaws. That's why I make these videos. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Looking around the interior, just checking everything out. This one does have a five speed transmission. Let's go ahead and start her up. She starts up pretty good. She's got a mean sounding cam. Engine temperature still on the way up. Oil pressure is about 30. On average, it's running, it came up already. Not the idles came up, it's closer to 50. Uh, blower motor, I don't think I can get it working though. It's not doing anything. Gas gauge is on the east, we're stopping to get fuel. And it's showing 75,000 miles. That's hard to stand behind in a 1964 model. Wipers, work. Radio, works. Place your bet. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play on the channel here. The dash on this one's got a little crack right here, but the rest of it's looking pretty sweet. Got a tack, aftermarket gauges, speakers in the kick panels, interior's in good shape, back seat looks nice and clean. Your package tray, looking pretty good. Over there in the corner, on your headliner, it's got a few little wrinkles popping up in it on both sides main portion of the headliner looks great your visors are a little bit yellowed they're looking yummy <laughs> all right turn signals bobbing up on the dash there the right one is not doing anything on the dash the bolts probably out clock's not working horn did you place your bets we're gonna try it out nothing no horn on this one. It's not working as much as I want it to. Okay. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Okay, so we're getting ready to take off down the road. Anything that I see, I will let you know. That is exactly why I do these videos. Let's go ahead. Engine temperature is coming up. It's working. Clutch is letting out. Just about as soon as I leave the floor there. Feels pretty good. Brakes. We got them, we're stopping. Oh, I love this, open road. Let's try it out. Woo. A little bit of a heavy spring on the throttle there. I believe I've seen two springs on the throttle. Straight as an arrow going down the road. no power steering but I mean the steering is really tight on this most of the time when they don't have power steering on the cars it'll have a lot of slack not really any in this one the power and forth there she's got some low gears go up into fit she'll do good on the highway I like the pet coming out of this car very strong motor. Well, strong motor means it's eating some gas. Let's pull into the gas station here. Gas gauge is on dead on E. I'm not running out today. I'm not pushing this big old car. So let's pull in here, get some fuel, and I'll let you know if it works. Our speedo though, the cable's messed up. This thing's bouncing like this. It's jumping right now from zero to 50. The cable is messed up on that. All right, let's 
let's go ahead and pull up in here and get some fuel sorry out of service on that one the one that we normally use don't have any gas today i guess <laughs> Okay, so I put about $7 worth of gas in it. We have a full tank here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that gas gauge does not work. It was on empty. And what's crazy is when you turn the key off, it goes to over half full. Gas gauge is messed up on this one. So I can turn the key on, back down to empty, turn it off, back up to half full. Huh. All right, let's take off. We've got us a broken gauge. Got you on super view. Let's go ahead and roll this window up. Did I mention how silky the window is? Somebody has greased those uh, channels for sure. Probably took the panel off and greased all the internals on the window. Cause that thing feels like it's brand new. So far so good. Engine temperature has really not gotten over 175. I haven't seen it really any higher than that. Make sure y'all are straight here. Still got that sticky pedal. I bet you it's where they had the two springs on there. Yeah, 
that just kind of lunges. It's where it's got the extra spring. I'll take one of them off. So far so good, even the ride's smooth on this one. Just holding her own. Car's got plenty of power. It's pulling this boat like crazy, golly. Not too bad. All right. So once we get back to the lot, we're gonna be walking around this car, point out chips, scratches, and flaws. Be sure to stick around for that segment. It'll be right after we pass through Brian's here and head back to the lot. So I like to come through Brian's just to see what they got set out back here. Uh, you want to check them out, brianzmotorsports.com. They customize vehicles from wheels, tires, to suspension, to interiors. You definitely want to check them out. They do everything from old schools to modern vehicles. And I see like NFL football players down there all the time. Uh, there's literally rock stars coming in and out of this place. This is where I bring my personal vehicles to get done. They're worth checking out. Again, that's BMS, briansmotorsports.com. Tell them Nick sent you from Maple Motors. We're getting back to the lot now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the walk around video, point out chip scratches and flaws. Be sure to hit subscribe, share, hit like, and check out the other 3,000 videos that we've put out. You can see all the previous inventory and we get about 10 cars a week, so stick around for more. car coming through there. Here we are. It's that time again. Picking out the flaws, any chips, scratches, rust, bondo, whatever I can find, you're going to know about. It. We're also going to go over the interior, checking it out, and listening to the motor. With that being said, look at maplemotors.com. That's our main website. It's got location, phone number, um, financing, shipping options. 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot, and we update every Monday with new inventory. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So I like going around the lower portions first and working my way up. Coming around this front end. The bumper on this one is actually in pretty good shape. It has some minor flaws. You see a little bit of staining, light scratches. There's some scratches right here in the front too. Looking at the grill, headlight bezels look nice and clean. The grill itself's looking pretty good. It's not all dented up. 
few dings up here on top. But. Lower portion up and over. You got a few chips right here on your fender. It's a chip right there as well. Also got a chip here. You got some chips down here at the bottom where the paint's missing. Also there. Edge of that door has got some bubbling popping up as well. And a lot of little chips on the lower portion of this car here. Got some bubbling popping up at the bottom. Behind the driver's door. Got some bubbling in the back here too. Light scratch. Exhaust pipe's got a little bit of surface rust on it. Coming around the back. Got some light scratches on your back bumper there. Back the mid section, you can see some cracking in the paint. Chip on the edge of that door. Door handle's got light hitting in the corner there. Light scratch here. Some chips up top here. Chips on the edge here. Back over this top portion, the sun's come out now and started the shadow effect on us. You got some light scuffs <clears throat> on top of the fender here. This one right there as well. Up in the corner here, you got some chips. So right there as well. Looking over our front windshield, it's in good shape. I do see a light scratch right here in the middle from the windshield wiper. The mirror on this one's got some pitting on it. The trim looks pretty good around the windows. Now our seals there, they're not solid dry, hard as a rock or nothing like that, but they are cracked up. And the ones around the back window need to be replaced as well. You've got some rust popping up here, right around the trim. Driver's rear. Roof. Roof actually looks pretty good. Back window on this one's nice and clean. Trim looks good around it as well. You got pitting on your antenna. Coming up on the back end. Back bumper on this one's nice and clean. Looks pretty good. You do got some imperfections down here by the tag. Edge right here is a little rusty. Same with this side. Down in between the bumper and where the trunk closes, you can see a bunch of bubbles, rust bubbles popping up. Looking in your jams all the way around, the weather stripping is actually in good shape. A little bit of moisture in the trunk here. It looks a little wet down there. This one's got a weak trunk too. You can see the uh, ground through it. A few spots that are real thin. Coming down with the trunk lid here, before I shut it all the way, you can see it does have some rust popping up on the bottom edge of it, in the back there. Let's 
Shot's pretty good. Trunk lid looks pretty good. Got a little crack here. Coming on over to the passenger side. Lower portion first. Got a scratch back here in the back. Some rust popping up. A few little bubbles popping up here as well. They go chip there. Got some bubbles popping up in the corner of the door. Crack down here. Scuff marks right here. Some trim's a little bit messed up. You can see that. You got scuffs around the fender. Some chips. A lot of chips going on right here. Back to mid section here, you can see the trim's kind of dented up. There's a ding right here. A little scuff where the trim's moved and chip. There's some chips right there. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Right here on top, got some rust right around the trim, just like on the other side. You also got some right here on the trim, below the driver's vent window. It's like a scuff right there. couple chips front windshield on this one looks pretty good the trim around it is in good shape same with the roof and all the trim around the windows looks good I don't really see anything going on with the roof up there it's nice back windows not too bad trim looks good Trunk lid on the back. Got some light scratches on the trunk lid on the back. I don't know if they're popping up in the video, but they are there. There's one here, here. Real light stuff, that may come out. Almost looks like a box got sat on there and just scooted a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this interior now and see what else we can find. Opening up the door, the door panel on this one looks pretty good. That's not too bad at all. Uh, missing your weather stripping on the outside of the door. It's like somebody just peeled it off. A couple little bubbles popping up at the bottom of the door. There's the old weather stripping right there. And then your jams. Carpet in this one looks pretty good. The seat on this one's in good shape. Looking at your package tray. Got a couple wrinkles around the speakers on both sides. And same with these back panels. A little bit wrinkly in the corners. Headliner in this one. Looks pretty good.
We'll go ahead and turn her on here. This was nice and quiet. It was very powerful. See the AC's not hooked up on this one. I don't even think it has heat. Of course the blower motor wasn't kicking on. You got some rust on the edge of your hood here. Gonna wait for her to. There we go. Couple chips on the side here. Let's go ahead and lower the hood down. You got a bubble right here above your trim. Over here as well. pretty good a few chips on the edge of the hood dirt spots there they'll come out also got a couple chips right here on the edge of the hood it's sitting a little high well there you go hinges are a little bit out of adjustment need to be greased more than less guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit subscribe share hit like and i'll keep making these videos for you every day with that being said look at maplemotors.com check the financing the shipping options and the detailed photos that we provide for you we also got merchandise on there where you can pick up maple motors t-shirts and gear i do encourage you to hit like subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video later guys